Hey guys, Adam here with americantrucks.com and today we're taking a closer look at listening to and of course installing the Flowmaster Flow FX direct fit muffler available for all 09 to 18 Ram 1500s with the 5.7 Hemi and the factory dual exhaust. Now as you just heard from our sound clips here, this muffler is going to give you a nice deep aggressive tone, I would say moderate to aggressive, which is why I'm giving this a three out of five on our loudest meter. Now at idle, you can expect a nice deep throaty rumble. And as you get on it more toward wide open throttle, it gets a little bit raspier and more aggressive without going overboard. Inside the cabin is pretty deep. You can hear that exhaust, but I gotta be honest, it's not drone like you'd get from something that is five out of five on the loudness meter. It's just a drone that has a nice crisp tone that I actually really enjoyed hearing. You can still have a conversation with your passengers and of course you can still listen to the radio. It shouldn't bother you much. Now, this guy here is made from 409 stainless steel. It's got a three inch inlet, dual two and a half inch outlet to fit perfectly with all of your factory piping aside from the muffler. This is also one of Flowmaster's first options to integrate a single stage packing system while also giving it a perforated tube and a straight through design. So that's kind of pretty unique in the way that this was formed. It's also specifically dyno tested and tuned from Flowmaster to make sure that it is perfect for the Hemi to reap all the power that it can, reducing any airflow restriction. Now the price comes in right around 300 to 350 bucks, making it one of the more affordable options in the category. There are some more expensive out there that give you more of an OEM-like sound, something maybe not as aggressive, but there's also options in the opposite direction, depending on your personal preference. The install I'm gonna give two out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter here. All you're gonna have to do is disconnect your two tailpipes, get them out of the way, then disconnect it from the other side, and you'll be good to swap them out. It's really not that difficult of an install here, but you wanna make sure you have some room in the driveway and the right tools on hand. Now overall, it'll take you about an hour, maybe two from start to finish, depending on your experience. I'll take you through the whole process. Let's get started. All right, tools used in this install include an impact gun, a ratchet, 15 and 16 millimeter deep sockets. Hanger removal tool is definitely recommended. A pry bar of various sizes and WD-40. First up, we're gonna loosen up all three clamps holding on the factory muffler. We're gonna start here with the extension pipe that goes to your cats. Now this guy is a 16 millimeter nut, so I have that on my ratchet here. You can use an impact gun for this one, but you'll have to switch over to a ratchet for the other one, so I'm just gonna start here. I'm gonna loosen this guy all the way up and separate the clamp. Now we can repeat that for the other two. Now we're switching over to a 15 millimeter socket and we're gonna take off these two holding on the tailpipes to the muffler outlet. All right, next step, we're gonna to have to focus on our hangers in the factory isolators above the muffler. Now, before we do anything, I'm gonna grab WD-40 and I'm just gonna spray it right inside there where the hanger connects to that isolator just to lube it up and make it easier on us. Do that for both of them. All right, next up, grab your hanger removal tool and we're gonna pop these guys out of the isolators. All right, next up, we can start to try to disconnect our muffler. Now I'm gonna start on the front side here with a pry bar. Now it might take a little finessing on both sides to disconnect, but for now I'm gonna use this pry bar up against the frame and I'm gonna push this out of position. So we have the front broken loose pretty good. Now what I'm gonna do is start on our passenger side tailpipe. I wanna get that disconnected from the muffler. And in order to do that, it may slide out of this hanger here. So I'm gonna slide this guy out, disconnect it from the muffler, and then hang it right back up. Oh, that was pretty simple. And just 
hang it up. All right, so now we're back here working on our driver's side tailpipe. All right, so tailpipes are out of the way. Let's just lift our muffler up and slide it off. All right, so we got our factory muffler off of our 14 RAM here, and it's next to our Flowmaster Flow FX Direct Fit muffler. And I'm gonna take you through some similarities and differences. Right off the bat, you can see a huge difference just solely based on size. Your factory muffler is absolutely giant, filled with baffling. It's a big airflow restriction in the exhaust system, slowing down that flow, which can rob you of some horsepower and torque that you might get with an aftermarket one. That's also gonna minimize some of the sound to give you a more muffled sound. It's a little more aggressive for your 5.7, but it's still stock nonetheless. Your Flowmaster FlowFX option is essentially a straight through design with a perforated tube. And as a matter of fact, it is one of the first Flowmaster mufflers to feature an internal single stage packing design. Now this guy is a part of their tried and true lineup, of course. Everybody knows the Flowmaster mufflers have been a fan favorite for years, and this is gonna be no different. It is specifically dyno tuned for your RAM, so it's not one of those universal mufflers that bolt up with some modification. As you can see, it's got a three inch mandrel bent tube from the inlet dual two and a half inch outlet here to fit with your factory tailpipes. Now this guy uses 409 mandrel bent stainless steel, so it's that middle of the road option as far as quality. This is for the guys who wanna keep costs down but still have a more durable muffler to handle things like road salt in the winter time if you're in a wintry weather area like we are here. As I said, it's gonna bolt right up to the factory exhaust, so what do you say we get started? Slipping this guy into the hangers and the inlet pipe. All right, first step here, grab the muffler assembly, put one of the three inch clamps over the inlet side. We're gonna slide this guy into the factory pipe while also lining up our hangers to the factory isolators. Now you can see those hangers are offset, so the muffler is not gonna sit perfectly horizontal. It's gonna sit up at an angle like this. So now you can swing your clamp up into position and tighten it down with a 15 millimeter deep socket. So now what I'm gonna do is take two of the smaller clamps included in the kit and just slide them over the muffler outlet there, just so we don't have to worry about that later on. All right, so at this point, if you remember, we slid our entire exhaust tailpipes out of their hangers and back into the muffler. So we're gonna do the same thing to reinstall it. So now we can do the exact same thing for our passenger side. All right, so at this point, just make sure your tailpipe's not sitting on the frame anywhere. Rotate your clamps up into position and tighten them down. At this point, make sure your tailpipes are aligned where you want it. Go back and tighten down all your clamps and you'll be good to go. So this is gonna be my last one. From there, if you're looking to pick up the Flowmaster FX Direct Fit Muffler for all 09 to 18 Ram 1500s, you can do so right here at americantrucks.com.